All right guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be talking about food, meal prep, and how eating the same thing day in, day out, may not be the best thing for you to be doing. Right, so I prepared 2,500 calories worth of food for the day, which is as simple as I could make it, okay? This is quite common. A lot of people tend to have chicken, rice, and broccoli as the staple. If we look, we've got about 30 grams worth of peanut butter. We've got some oatmeal, about 60 grams. We've got the rice, the chicken, and the broccoli, which is pretty much split three ways. It's about 300 grams worth of dry rice. Uh, chicken and the broccoli, again, it's the same per portion. And then two scoops of protein and a banana. So if we look at that, it's pretty healthy. It's healthy considering you know, most of the people out there just eat absolute crap. You've got a decent macro split and, you know, it's not too bad. However, a couple of things which are wrong with this, or could potentially be wrong with this. You have this every day, seven days a week. It's gonna get boring, fast. I'm gonna find that very boring to stick to. And it's gonna run the risk of me wanting to cheat on my diet and go and eat something else, something which I shouldn't eat. Second thing which is bad, is because it's the same thing which you're eating every single day, you run the risk of becoming deficient in certain vitamins and minerals. But there are, however, some pros of having the same thing every day. Obviously, if you're preparing the same ingredients, the same meals, you're gonna get quick at preparing them. You know exactly what it is you need to do. It's gonna be easy to track. And when you're doing your food shop, it's not gonna take that long. You just get the same ingredients over and over again. So I've prepared another day's worth of food, which the macros a little bit different, but the overall calorie intake is 2,500 calories. And just by looking at it, you can see how much more variety there is, okay? Let's say, for example, you start the day off with a shake. We have some kale, we have some celery, we're gonna whack an avocado in that, a scoop of protein, 10 grams of spirulina, and a scoop of the bulk powders, super green. So you blend that all together, you have a very nutrient-dense, high-protein smoothie. Then we have what I've made a, it's like a salad, but we've got some chicken in there and some sweet potato. Again, you've got a nice variety of colors in there. You've got your leafy greens. Here we've got a little snack, we've got some nuts. It's important when you're having the nuts not to have the same type of nuts every single day. So if you're you know, having almonds every single day, you may have issues or issues may start to arise if you do that. So vary up, add some pecans, add some walnuts, add some cashews, Brazil nuts. The more variety, the better. We have a little snack here, fruit snack. Again, okay? instead of having bananas every single day, you can vary up, have an apple once in a while, have some raspberries, maybe have some blueberries. Just vary up as much as you possibly can do. Again, we have a little bit of a, of a different protein snack here. Oily fish, mackerel. More people should be having oily fish because it's full of very healthy fats. And you can have it with whatever you want, maybe some toast or just have it out of the can like a savage. And then the other meal you have, is some minced beef. This is a lean one, 5%. We've got some variety with the greens this time, so it's not just broccoli. You've got some asparagus, you've got some sugar snaps, we've got some cauliflower in there as well, and the carb sauce is quinoa. So a very tasty, much more interesting 2,500 calories. And here we have another day's worth of food in the 2,500 calorie range. Again, it just looks absolutely delightful. We have here some oatmeal, but instead of just plain oatmeal, we've mixed it up a little bit. There's some dried fruit, dried cranberries on top. This Superfoods Breakfast Boost, super berries, just a little sprinkle of that on, but you're putting so much goodness on top of your oatmeal and you're making it a little bit more interesting. A little bit of a snack, which you could have here. We've got some jerky, again, nuts, mixing it up with the nuts. Here we have a very delicious plate. We have some bassa fish. We have some broccoli, but we change it up. It's not that same old boring broccoli. It's the long stem broccoli. We have samphire as well. If you haven't tried samphire, try it, it's unreal. And instead of just a plain old boring white rice, we've got some brown rice here mixed with some other grains, which is in a microwave pack. We have an omelet as well. I'm sorry, I usually make them much more aesthetic than this. This is uh, it's still gonna taste unbelievable, but we did have a little bit of an issue when cooking it. We've also added some shiitake mushrooms. We've also added some garlic and some onion. So more goodness packed into the omelet. And it's gonna make it taste better as well. And then this one, we got some beetroot, we got some carrots, we got some sprouts, parsnip, and some salmon with a little drizzle of teriyaki on top. So honestly, if I looked at all of these days, these three different options, I'm much more likely to enjoy this one and not get bored of this one and this one instead of having that 
broccoli, rice and chicken every single day. Now, I will be honest with you, there are some downsides. First of all, doing the food shop for these is a little bit more of a pain in the ass. It is going to take longer and it is going to take longer to prepare. And it's a little bit more complicated when it comes to tracking because obviously you're throwing in a lot more vegetables, a lot more ingredients going into this. But luckily, most of the stuff which you're putting in is pretty low calorie, okay? A lot of the green vegetables and other vegetables are pretty low. So if you go over on them, it's not really the end of the world. If you go over on green vegetables or vegetables by 50 calories, I really don't think your body is going to punish you that much, okay? It's only really going to be an issue if you're like 7% body fat and you're trying to get down to 5% body fat where if you go over in your vegetable intake, then it might be a little bit of an issue. Now, don't get me wrong, this was something which I did in my very early days of training when I started learning about nutrition and tracking macros. I did pretty much have the same thing day in, day out, maybe just changing it up at the weekend if I ate out at a restaurant. Obviously, there were pros associated with it. I was able to get into the condition which I wanted, whether I was bulking or cutting, but looking healthy and actually being healthy, two very different things. You can externally look quite healthy, but internally you can actually be very unhealthy. You know, a lot of these people are doing, if it fits your macros and eating junk food, eating crap, you like, you see them on Instagram, you're like, well, how, how do they look so good? Well, yeah, they might look good, but on the inside, they might be in an absolute horrendous state of affairs. So it's very important that you do look after your internal organs, your digestive system, because it will pay you back in the long run. And from past experience of me, when it comes to meal prep or when I'm traveling and I can't, prepare all the meals which I want to, I know it's an absolute fact that whenever I've been doing something like this, increasing the variety and being consistent with prepping my meals, I feel a hell of a lot better, I have a lot more energy, my skin feels better, my hair is thicker, which is very important for me, and I have like, I feel like I have more of a glow, it's a weird one. And the thing is, if you do this, your requirement to have, you know, complex multivitamins and so on isn't going to be there because you will be giving your body everything that it needs. So to sum up guys, variety is the spice of life. The more you vary up with what you're eating, the better off you are gonna be. So thank you very much for watching, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon.